Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is Game Schooling, Science, and Problem Solving. So I wanted to start with some of the problem solving uh, games. Um, there's a variety of different types out there. These are the ones that we have that we've played. So the first one is Vikings Brainstorm, and this is a game where you move the pieces around. Let me pull that out and try to get them into certain locations. So if I set it up um, and there's the red one here and the green one here, you can only turn the tile and slide it one way and you're trying to move them around. So it's like a start to finish kind of puzzle. It says ages six and up. Um, and we have played it and had some success on the easier levels, um, but it does go up to harder levels so you can adjust it to the age. Similarly, we have Gravity Maze. And this one I really like because I think it's interesting. Um, and they have different levels, beginner, immediate, intermediate, advanced, and expert. Um, it says ages eight to adult, um, but we did do this one a little bit younger um, with my kid. I think we got it when they were six. Um, and it, again, sort of gives you the patterns of like, here's the blocks you can use, here's where you have to start, and here's where the ball has to end. And so you have to figure out how to, if you drop the ball here, how do you get it to wind through and fall out the other way? Um, plus it's cool because it involves, you know, dropping marbles through little shoots. So that's always interesting. Um, so most of those are kind of logic based. Another one that I feel like um, logic problem solving is Battleship. <laughs> I liked this game as a kid. I like it now. Um, it definitely has that grid piece and, you know, trying to figure out, okay, here's what I can see. Here's what they can see. And if I guess here, where should I guess at these other locations to try and find where their ships are hidden. And that one was a huge success with the kid. Um, plus, you know, you get to say, yay, I sunk your battleship. So, you know, pretend um, battles are always interesting for kids, I think. Um, as far as science goes, uh, there's a couple that my mother found. Um, these are basher science um, card games. Uh, there's chemistry, there's biology, and I want to say there's another one, rocks and minerals. We don't have rocks and minerals, but we have chemistry and biology. Um, and basically, they're, um, it's from the makers of UNO, and um, it's cards, and the cards have um, specific uh, bits of information and they have two matches, um, but they have different facts on each. Um, and um, you can play a couple of different ways. Um, so you can play it like a memory game or you can play it like a battle game um, where whoever has the highest number um, gets uh, the most points. Um, and then, so if you play the battle game, then you use these extra directions at the bottom. If you just do the memory version, then the way that we've played it is that we have read them. So it's like you turn over the one card and you read the fact, and then you turn over the other card and you read the fact and see if they're the same thing. The facts will be different, but the card itself will be the same. I'm sure there are some other games that you could add and I believe that you can mix these together um, and they do come with like a little token so this is biology and we got a little heart um, in chemistry I think we got a little beaker and it shows like all the little token things that you can get so that might be interesting too. have a little bit of a collectible um, bit uh, piece to it uh, some of those games that have collectible pieces are very interesting to kids so those are some examples of science uh, and problem solving game schooling that we incorporate. Um, we don't necessarily do game schooling all the time, but when we play games, we do try to have games that are um, educational and we do try and relate stuff in and occasionally we'll have a game day and we'll just play games. So these are some of the games that we pull up at that time. If you have other science and problem solving games, please share those in the comments and thanks for watching.